Hey guys, there's a great saying. I can't remember who, who said it, but uh, I'm sure you've all heard it. Either you're growing or you're dying. You know, it, it, from a psychological, from a personal perspective, from the personal self, it's very, very true. You know, we, we really are meant to have new experiences, new to learn new things, to to, to evolve. From an awakened perspective, there's only being. So it's like this di divine dichotomy between being and becoming. Part of my own process, outside of my therapeutic practice, is a, obviously as an artist. And presently, in order to grow and evolve this gift that I've been given, I'm very honored. Um, and I've also spent a lot of years dedicated to it as well. My intention is to grow the art art side of my business, and it is slowly growing. And I'm part of several different uh, programs to help learn and evolve and understand what it what what it means to really be a professional artist, alongside my therapy practice. And. Presently, I'm enrolled in kind of a mini uh, sell your art challenge. And one of the steps was to really talk about a piece. So that's what I want to do today. So this is about my growth and hopefully uh, inspiring you through my art as well. So this particular piece is the one I want to talk about. That's why I'm standing here. It's called Behind the Veal. And like all my art, my art really kind of reflects the work that I do with people and awakening. And this has been a lifelong passion for me, the art and how it's, how it's evolved. Stylistically, there's a style that's evolved. And again, I spent years of study and this particular piece behind the veil is kind of about that idea or not the idea, but it's about our, that awakened nature, beingness, isness, Buddha nature, Christ consciousness, whatever, the witness, the witnessing conscious, consciousness. This is what you see in the Buddha. And in front is very thinly a mandala that kind of represents uh, Maya, the veil of illusion. So it's like we kind of get this, we have this, true nature synonymous with pure bliss joy peace love synonymous but none of those things so this pure consciousness behind everything and we get sucked into this you know the, the illusion of the separate self and this is what this piece is about it's kind of that seemingly back and forth you know where we get sucked into the personhood the, the the drama the conflict the challenges the patterns the reactions i do too obviously and i think you're unless you're a fully realized being you're going to but then we have moments where we where we hopefully we recognize them and ideally they become uh, more frequent more expanded, longer, where we tune into that true nature and something that we all share as human beings, regardless of what we believe spiritually or religiously, or if we're atheist, we all have that true nature. And this is what this represents. Interestingly enough, in terms of growth, becoming, the becoming side, this piece looks very, very different from its original uh, sketch and from different stages. I, I, I went through, I thought it was finished, but I really wasn't happy. Then I went through a whole other stage and it completely changed format, completely changed format until you see what you have here today. So really it's about growth and becoming, expressing that gift, which from what I understand psychologically each of us is better than one, at one particular thing than 90% of the population. 
You can say that it's our gifted area. So personally, this is one of mine, and I just wanted to share that with you. Um, as part of this step, and, and part of this challenge where I'm growing, my, my art business, my art career, etc. My passion. So thank you for watching.